Which song emotionally destroys you? Somewhere out there from an American tale. Edit also, today I learned that was Linda Ronstadt on the end credits version. Nutshell by Alice in Chains. The Night We Met. Lord Huron. If We Were Vampires by Jason Isbell. As my husband was dying from aggressive brain cancer, the lyrics haunted me. Knowing that this can't go on forever. Likely one of us will have to spend some days alone. Maybe we'll get 40 years together. Then one day I'll be gone. Or one day you'll be gone. He's gone. It sucks. Wish You Were Here Pink Floyd. First song I played on guitar after my grandpa died. Didn't even get through the intro before starting to cry. Who Wants to Live Forever Queen? My dad was a fan of the band and we often listened to them together in the car when I was young. He was terrified of dying and fought the cancer as hard as he could, but it got him anyway. I cry like a kid with a skin knee whenever he listened to that song. Somewhere only we know Keen. You are my sunshine. Nutshell by Alice in Chains. I will follow you into the dark death cab for cutie. Funeral band of horses. Listen to it all the time when I was super depressed. 23 Jimmy Eat World. Fake plastic trees radio head. Cats in the cradle. As a son, and a father of teenagers, brutal. Without You I'm Nothing by Placebo. Unplug Nirvana All Apologies. The Lightning Crashes. Song was playing as I was headed to the hospital the day she was born unfortunately I lost her mother that day. Six years later I lost her and my new wife and baby in a car wreck. Tracy Chapman Fast Car. I love the song but that first bit of guitar plays and it's nope. Skip. Rainbow Connection Kermit the Frog Landslide Fleetwood Mac is pretty rough for me and God only knows Beach Boys. Who knew Pink? The line if someone said three years from now, you'd be long gone chokes me up and makes me think of my uncle, who I thought for sure would still be with us today. Nine years later and it still gets me a vey time. Vincent by Don McLean 4th of July by Sif Jan Stevens is probably my top example. Get well soon Suf three foot. Cat Stevens' father and son. Mazzy star fade into you black heart hash. Death cab for cutie I will follow you into the dark. Somewhere over the rainbow covered by Israel Karmika Wiwoole. The MTV unplugged version of Black by Pearl Jam. Brand new the boy who blocked his own shot. One more light Linkin Park. Jeff Buckley's version of Hallelujah. Whiskey Lullaby Disappointed But Relieved Face. You Are My Sunshine. I used to sing this song to my sweet soul mate of a dog, Avon Boxdale, and, at the end of his cancer treatments too. I am literally crying typing this. He is forever missed. Tears in heaven. Chasing cars snow patrol those three words. Remember when by Alan Jackson. Stop crying your heart out oasis. Vienna by Billy Joel. My son is in his last year of high school and then he'll leave for university. I miss him already. Don't give up Peter Gabriel and Kate Bush. The Fray How to Save a Life Against the Wind Bob Seger Getting old ain't easy and he gets right to the survival of life in this song clinking beer mugs. House of the Rising Sun A friend and I used to play it every now and then at school. Then he drove into a tree one weekend and died. He wasn't even old enough to drive legally. That song almost brings back those memories. Nose on the grindstone Tyler Childers. All I want codeline. How to disappear completely radio head. Time in a bottle Jim Croce. When I read it was about not enough time with his son. 
breaks me up inside. Seasons in the Sun Terry Jacks Mad World by Gary Jules Fix You Coldplay Time After Time by Cindy Lauper Wake Me Up When September Ends September is the anniversary for several deaths in my family as well as Friend Circle. Apparently Billy Joe Armstrong wrote it when his dad died in September. Dust in the Wind the Dance by Garth Brooks. Ever Time. And, even though it's a hair overplayed, My Immortal by Evanescence. What a wonderful world. I was difficult to comfort as a baby for a handful of medical reasons. I've been told that song was the only one that silenced my crying and had a chance of putting me to sleep. Aside from that, I've always had a strong emotional reaction to it since I can remember. Landslide Stevie Nicks basically describes the relationship we all had with my beloved aunt. She was the heart of our family, and we lost her after nearly eight years battling ovarian cancer. This song absolutely destroys me. La Boheme, old French song performed by the maestro Charles Aznavour. A masterpiece from the 60s and 70s. My parents and great-parents liked it a lot and I was fortunate to grow with it and other gems of that time. Every time I hear it I feel such a deep melancholy for the youth of our old people or those who have already left us, and even my own younger times that are now a distant memory and will never come back. Samson by Regina Spector Keep Me in Your Heart by Warren Zevon, written just after he got his diagnosis. Breath Me by Sia Nirvana Something in the Way It's Quiet Uptown Hamilton Every song made by Jeff Buckley. Evanescence My Immortal. Runaway Train by Soul Asylum. Piece by Piece by Kelly Clarkson. Hurt by Johnny Cash. Nothing's Gonna Change My Love for You by George Benson. I cry every time I hear it because it reminds me of my cat who tragically passed away last year. REM Everybody Hurts. That song and throat and chest tighten up just thinking about it. Little Earthquakes, Tori Amos. One more time. Blink 182's new song. Definitely gives me the feels. Headlights by Eminem. I grew up on Eminem, knew every lyric of every song. Then after all the controversy of his relationship with his mom. 10-15 years later he issues a formal apology to her for fucking everything. Unreal. I Hope You Dance by Lee and Womack and In the Arms of an Angel by Sarah McLachlan. My mom loved both of those songs. She died from an overdose when I was 11 and they were played at her funeral. Fields of Gold cover by Eva Cassidy. Holy cow. Half Right, Needle in the Hay, Fond Farewell, All by Elliot Smith. Army by Bad Books. Snuff and Vermilion Part 2 Bloodstone by Slipknot. Can't listen to them anymore, those were the soundtrack to my darkest days. Just thinking about them gets to me. Zombie by the Cranberries. High Ren by Wren. Destroys and inspires me all at the same time. W.O.L.D. by Harry Chapin Oh boy I have a few. The heart is a muscle gang of youths. It's all right mother mother. Never love an anchor the crane wives. Imposter syndrome rat wife. Go rest high on that mountain Vince Gill. You were mine by the Dixie Chicks. Pictures of you the cure. Blink 182 Adam's song. The Rose Bet Midler. Send in the Clown Stephen Sondheim. Time Pink Floyd. My Immortal by Evanescence. I started heading this song on the radio around the time that my mother passed away and I start tearing up every time I hear it. Okay, not me, but my boyfriend will literally cry when listening to Fergie's Big Girls Don't Cry, which is simultaneously hilarious and touching to me. The River by Bruce Springsteen. Woof, 